only on 13. A man says he was forced to punch a dog that was attacking his best friend. He says a large dog attacked his dog, himself, and another person. He's sharing the story with ABC 13's Luke Jones live from Montrose tonight. Luke. Both those people and that dog in bandages now, but otherwise all right. That attack happening right here on this street corner, and during that, the dog's owner, the attacking dog's owner, nowhere to be found. In fact, it wasn't until this afternoon that authorities finally tracked her down. We walk a couple of miles, and we were right at the tail end of our walk when this uh, incident occurred. On the streets of Montrose Sunday. I started kicking the pit bull. A fierce battle between man and dog. I took the pit bull to the ground and I started punching him in the head. All Fred Schiller oh says God. to free his own dog, Verve, from the pit bull's mouth. Everybody was screaming. Schiller says it all began when he was walking Verve at Indiana and Morse. I had been coming down that side. And the pit bull charged at them from across the street. And the next thing I know is that pit bull makes a beeline. He quickly takes hold of Verve, chomping down on his neck. Schiller, who once trained in Taekwondo, says he had no choice but to put those skills to use. And I kept punching and punching. He wouldn't drop him. And my dog was screaming. His eyes were bulging out. I thought he was going to die. Ellen Blasio tries intervening. And without thinking, I ran over to kind of grab little little dog efforts that earn her multiple bites on one of her hands schiller is also bitten but ultimately manages to restrain the attacking dog i kept the pit bull pinned down with his head in the mud because i thought okay if i let this thing up i'm next that's when he says the dog's owner drives up we're blurring her face and she's not charged with a crime she gets out of her car and she says that's my dog after days of trying bark finally tracked her down today and says she's agreed to bring the dog in for quarantine to watch for signs of rabies but bark says she likely won't be cited for having her dog off leash since none of its officers witnessed that for themselves i said that's all you're gonna do i said this dog almost killed my dog it's a danger and Bark says Schiller still has the option of going to a local justice of the peace court and having the dog declared a dangerous dog. However, ultimately, that decision is up to a judge.